What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a very interesting topic I'm going to be talking about. A very interesting game that I think a lot of people have actually forgotten about. And that is AFL Mascot Manor. Now, for those of you who didn't know, recently the AFL Evolution 2 team, you know, True Blue, all of those type of people, Wicked Witch, recently just announced that AFL Evolution 2 will be coming out on the Nintendo Switch. And they claimed that it was going to be their first handheld, you know, simulation experience on, yeah, a handheld device. But for those who are, you know, fans of AFL games who have been around for quite a bit now, you guys probably do know that that is not true. And there actually has been an AFL game on a handheld uh, device before, uh, you know, specifically on the DS, which was called AFL Mascot Manor. So this game came out quite a while ago, and for those of you who don't know, again, it was on the DS, and pretty much you could choose between 16 of the team mascots, you know, because this was before GWS and Gold Coast were teams, you could choose between 16 of the team mascots and you could, you know, play as those mascots. They had superpowers and you can explore and conquer about, you know, 48 different environments like these levels and all that type of stuff. You also do have like these special abilities that you could use to potentially have gone on, you know, with them. And then you could face off against other mascots in mini boss matches. You could explore mini games. And you could do an, um, you know, mini match, um, which is pretty much where the simulation experience does come in. You could do a match against whatever team you want to verse. And this is where the best part, like the game came out, you know, is that when you're actually going through the levels or the different environments, you could find and collect AFL player cards. And then you could actually eventually trade them with your friends wisely and all of that type of stuff. And what these AFL cards were really cool is because while you were playing, you know, your mini match, you could actually go around, but like the players wouldn't really have a name. They wouldn't really have anything special about them. But if you collected their footy card, it's like you're unlocking a new character in the game that you can play as. Jack Raywald is running around. He's just a random player. But if you collect his card, pretty much, it actually has Jack Raywald. I do believe they become better slightly or something like that. I'm not even exactly too sure. But it was a really, really fun game. And it actually gave, you know, not just matches in the game, but a way to kind of level up and get better at those matches, which you could play as the mascots through all these new levels and you could collect these cards through different obstacles and different challenges and overall it was just a really fun game and I honestly forgot, uh, forgot you know thought sorry that nearly everyone had pretty much forgotten about this game but I was actually talking to a mate recently who actually said that he he has he does remember this game um, you know, quite a bit, and he said it was one of his favorite games that he did actually play on the DS, and yeah, again, I do remember it quite well, it was one of my favorite games to play, and you know, every time I got a new Richmond card or something, I literally got that excited with it, and yeah, it was just a really good and fun overall experience, and yeah, again, this is just a little bit weird that they've kind of said that, you know, this is our first handheld experience when clearly there has been other handheld games, and yeah, I just thought... I would, you know, try and unlock a memory, a forgotten memory for those of you who, you know, forgotten this game existed because I definitely forgot this game existed and, yeah, what I'm thinking about doing is actually trying to buy it and maybe even play the game on the channel, which is going to be a pretty difficult process because how, uh, how old the uh, game is and how they're probably not going to be selling much of it anymore. From Remembrance, I'm pretty sure it came out from like maybe 2008 or 2009, I'm pretty sure when it came out, you know, slightly, it was, a, I feel like a couple years after the DS originally came out was when this, uh, yeah, forgotten AFL game did actually come out. And again, it's actually really hard. There isn't like really any gameplay or anything up online. It's really hard. Like literally this game is that forgotten there. Like once you search up, really, you know, mascot mana for AFL. Not much stuff comes out, um, stuff comes up, and yeah, it, it's a pretty difficult process to kind of see everything, but what I also found out was it looks like there was an NRL mascot mana as well, which, I, yeah, I think was made by the exact same people, but yeah, other than that, mascot mana is definitely a forgotten game, and it would be really cool if 
maybe even one day they actually bring back mascot mana or something like that which would be really cool because if you're a you know if you're supposed to be trying to promote afl evolution 2 and all that stuff what would be cool is if you know because afl evolution 2 uh, in contrast to the first games where they just came out on PC, Xbox One, and PS4, AFL Evolution 2 is supposed to be coming out on Nintendo Switch as well, um, the Xbox Series X and PS5, and they'll still have the DLC to come out on all of them. They're going to get quite a bit of funding as well, and what I think they could do is for maybe AFL Evolution 3, it would be really cool to kind of bring back maybe some of those mascot mana type of assets. For example, maybe footy cards, you know, the footy cards that are in Mascot Mana and, you know, are new ways to collect them by going through different minigames and all that type of stuff, which could then lead on to what everyone, I think, is really wanting from AFL Evolution 2, which I don't think is going to be in it. I think it's going to be in AFL Evolution 3, potentially. And that's like a my team slash, you know, the uh, ultimate... Uh, I forgot what it's called in FIFA, but I know in 2K it's called my team. Pretty much for those of you who don't know what my team is, you actually go around... And you pretty much can collect these cards of uh, certain players and, you know, their different overalls. Like, for example, there's a Shaq in the game, you know, Shaquille O'Neal, that maybe he's like a 99 overall, is a really good player. Then there's, you know, players that are like uh, 70 overall. And you pretty much collect them, you put them on a team, and then you can verse your friends. Or you can play through random games um, to try and upgrade your cards or get better cards. I think that would be a very cool way they could try and do that with AFL Evolution 3, or maybe if they've done it with AFL Evolution 2, but another thing they could, you know, they could try and incorporate is maybe a mascot mana type of thing where maybe you have a mascot or something like that and you go through different stages as like a separate game mode to try and get different cards. And I think that, uh, you know, on paper, it doesn't sound exactly that great, but a lot of people have actually played the mascot mana game and do remember you know, now, again, again, you know, bring back some old memories, might remember it now, and might even be like, well, hold on, I would definitely love to give this a go, and if I can, you know, unlock these new cards to build a new team, I don't also always just want to, you know, play boring simulated games to do it, like what's in 2K, maybe in FIFA, it'd be kind of cool maybe if they brought a different aspect in, which is similar to the mascot mana games, where, yeah, there's like different, um, puzzles and all that type of stuff, maybe, or adventure, uh, you know, what, what do you call it? Environment slash levels to try and go through to maybe even get upgraded with the card. So again, that would be extremely cool. And yeah, I think they could also try and do a deal with select footy stars, which is what they've previously done with Mascot Mana, but they could do it in like a My Team situation with AFL Evolution 2 or 3. For those of you who don't know, select footy stars, I believe it was 2008 or 9 again when the game did come out. They were the company that had the cards in the game. It wasn't Team Coach, it was Select. So it would be pretty interesting if maybe they kind of struck a deal where Select maybe worked on the My Team cards in AFL Evolution 3 and all of that type of stuff and kind of, yeah, it kind of went from there. I think that would be a very interesting and have a whole another company designing it, which would give AFL Evolution, you know, the team to have some time to work on other stuff rather than designing all the cards. And yeah, I think that would be... Pretty interesting to kind of see, but yeah, I definitely would really like to try and get Mascot Mana. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it, or if I will be able to do it, because again, this is a very old game, and I don't know if they're still selling it. I honestly thought I did have the game, but I'm pretty sure I actually gave it away like years, years ago, like 10 years ago probably. I think I might have given it away. So yeah, I don't actually have it anymore, but I do still have a DS, so again, I've got my old DS, so I think that would be... Pretty funny and interesting to kind of whip that out and see if I can play the game again. And yeah, again, it is a 3DS, so I don't know how it's going to convert over and if it will be able to convert over with cross-compatibility. Uh, cross but again, I would like to try it and see if it does work. And yeah, maybe I'll even make some Mascot Manor videos on this channel. But yeah, definitely comment in the comment section down below. Do you guys remember this game? Do you guys know what this game is? Did you guys ever play this game? And would you like, would you like to see some of the components maybe from this game eventually added into AFL Evolution 2 or maybe even AFL Evolution 3. Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlogging channel where I've got a couple of AFL Evolution videos and all that type of stuff on my gaming channel if you guys want to go check that out. But again, permanent AFL Evolution videos will be on this channel. But yeah, I've got a couple other different gaming videos on there. I've also got a couple of vlogs on my IRL slash vlogging channel as well. One where I met Lamelo Ball, all that type of stuff. And yeah, hopefully if they bring back crowds for AFL this year, maybe some even more AFL vlogs on there 
as well. But yeah, also don't forget to check out my podcast um, down below if you haven't already. Where I talk about NBA, AFL content, and the sports content in general. For example, maybe some potentially could even do some AFL Evolution content. Maybe even talk about Mascot Manor on there. Again, again, definitely go check that out. Links to that are in the description down below. So as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.